Hello everyone, uh, good evening. Uh, tonight's topic, or what I titled it, is if primitive reflex contribute to ADHD, dyslexia, and other neurodevelopmental disorders. And what I mean by that is things like OCD and Tourette's. Um, we mentioned dyslexia, learning disorders, uh, even things like reading comprehension. Uh, if, if primitive reflexes contribute to that, why do we have them in the first place? So if you're familiar with any of my content, I talk so much about primitive reflexes. And just to back up, if you guys are new to this, uh, what a primitive reflex is, is it's an infantile reflex. It's something that you are born with, and for about the first four to six months of age, it's there to, uh, to help develop the brain. Hello, Brittany, thank you for jumping on. Um, so the primitive re reflex is there to help develop the brain for those first four to six months. So the first four to six months, we only have about 25% of our brain developed. So it's kind of underdeveloped and we need these reflexes to be able to give the brain some feedback so that it can actually grow and develop the way that it should. So these primitive reflexes are super important to have and survival would be very hard to achieve without them. So it is a good thing that we have them, but only for that window of about four to six months. After that, you should get rid of them. I always say they're, they're kind of like training wheels. You have these training wheels on your brain and they kind of get everything going. They provide a little bit of, of input to the brain and then they should go away. So by the time it's four to six months, the brain should be developed enough where it feels comfortable, where it can shut these reflexes down. Um, so that's why we have these primitive reflexes. They're, they're actually there for a good reason, but we should be getting rid of them. So what happens when, when it becomes a burden is after those four to six months and they get uh, you know, older and then they even get to school age and they get to middle school or junior high or whatever and then they still have them, basically that means that their brain is still just functioning in this infantile state. It's not able to do those really complex things that are very uh, necessary to be able to learn in the, in the school system. So in order to learn you need, uh, you know, your vision and hearing and, and seeing and you need to be able to cross the midline properly. And you need to do all these things uh, very efficiently and if you have these reflexes it's going to be very tough for these kids to do. So um, these automatic movements, these reflexes, they're necessary for us to develop that balance, that movement, uh, vision, hearing, speech, learning, communication, uh, both verbal and nonverbal. So they are very important but they do need to go away by that window in order for the brain to keep developing the way that it should. And that is why they uh, can cause such issues. So. Um, all further brain development does depend on that foundation of did the primitive reflexes go away. Um, if they didn't, then that's what we need to be able to get rid of in order for that to, to in order for the brain to, to develop the way that it should. So, uh, if you still have these reflexes, and that, that's going to kind of, like I said, it's, it's almost like your brain still has these training wheels that it needs to get rid of, it's going to constantly be putting you or your child in this fight or flight state. So it's gonna be putting you in this chronic stress state. You're gonna be, um, you know, you, it, the primitive reflexes reside at your brainstem and that's where your fight or flight system's at. So if the brainstem is too immature to get rid of these primitive reflexes, then ultimately you're gonna constantly be, hey Kyle, uh, you're gonna be constantly put in this prim, uh, fight or flight state. And when you think about it, if you're in a fight or flight state, uh, it's gonna be kind of what a classic ADHD kid's gonna have. They're gonna have be, having trouble concentrating, sitting still, um, focusing, um, being able to really critically think and, and use their, their full brain power towards, uh, like let's say, a, a school problem. Um, and then it's gonna take time away from that, that part that you need to be in where you're resting and uh, growing and developing and stuff like that. So if you have these reflexes at four to six months and it's a good thing, but then they're supposed to go away so the brain can continue to develop and you wanna get rid of those training wheels, so why, why do some kids hold on to them? So why don't they always go away? And the reason for that is I think it's more prevalent now in this current generation than any other generation before, and it's probably because um, the world's more different now than it, than it ever has been before. Um, some of the more common reasons that you're not going to get rid of the reflexes um, like you should, and why more and more kids are having these primitive reflexes linger around is because they're not getting the uh, proper movement. So when you think of 
uh, like an infant, they're supposed to go through these different um, movements. And if they're sitting in, I mean, kids are more stagnant now than they ever have been. Even babies are sitting and watching TV. They're not getting enough tummy time. You know, they're not spending the time to do the proper milestones of rolling over and sitting up and creeping and then finally getting to a crawl and then standing up. They're kind of just, you know, mashing these together and they're not going through the proper stages. Um, and then uh, another thing is uh, kids are always in a carrier now. So if you think of like a car seat or those bouncies or they're, they're always in something that's putting them in this unnatural position and they're not allowed to go through the proper movements themselves and get rid of these primitive reflexes naturally. So then they, they hold on to them. So that's one reason. Uh, another reason can just be like a stressful pregnancy, a stressful birth. Um, that can just hardwire a kid into the kind of this fight or flight elevated state. And when you're in that state, then that's going to uh, not allow you to grow and develop the way that you should, which is go uh, you know really essential to get rid of this primitive reflexes. So those are kind of two of the, of the big reasons why I think that primitive reflexes are more prevalent um, in more, they're more prevalent in kids now uh, and they're not going away by that four to six month window. So, you know, if, for example, some of the primitive reflexes can cause a kid to not sit still or cause them to, you know, always be fidgeting, uh, not be able to, to concentrate in the classroom, uh, have poor handwriting. Um, they're not going to be able to track their eyes or converge their eyes the way that they should. So they're not going to be able to comprehend what they're reading the way that they should. So they're just, they're very common in kids with neurodevelopmental disorders. So if your kid didn't get rid of them, um, and you're kind of asking like, well, how do you get rid of them? The way that we get rid of them in the office is we stimulate the weaker side of the brain. So what that's gonna do is when we, whether it's through an adjustment or some other kind of stimuli, either just like a complex movement of doing like a figure eight, we need to stimulate the weak side of the cerebellum and then stimulate the weak side of the brain so that can shut down those primitive reflexes. Um, and then when those primitive reflexes go away, the cool thing is, is that they go away pretty much for good. Um, the only thing that might bring them back is like a really big trauma to the head um, or like a concussion or something like, like that can bring them back. But for the most part, they go away forever. And then when you get rid of these training wheels, then it allows that brain to keep growing and developing the way that it should. And that's always, you know, the first step in our office is if we have a kid with ADHD or another neurodevelopmental disorder, we want to get rid of those reflexes so that their brain's able to grow and develop the way that it should. And we can kind of take those training wheels off of the brain, if you will. So that's, um, that's what primitive reflexes are. That's why we have them in the first place. Um, and then what you can do if your child has them, you know, past that six month window. Um, I actually had them uh, until 26 when I realized what they were and how to get rid of them. So you can be any age and still have these. Um, and it's just a great idea to get rid of them so that your brain can do, uh, you know, the most complex stuff that it can. So that's what I have for you today. Um, that's kind of a review of primitive reflexes. And I've just been getting a lot of questions of why kids have them in the first place if they're causing so many issues and the reasons because you do need them for those first four to six months to uh, survive. So that's what I have for you this evening. Uh, if you ever have any questions, just call the office. I'd love to talk to you or uh, private message us. Our number is 402-504-4676. Otherwise, I'll be jumping on tomorrow, tomorrow evening and I'll see you guys then.